Hi everyone, if you're a JavaScript developer, you probably would have seen the double equal sign and the triple equal sign within an if statement, and you might be wondering what's the difference and which one should you be using? That's diving into our code to learn more about this. So over here, we can see that we have a blank sheet here, and I'm just going to make a new declaration. I'm just going to call this um, num1. I'm going to call this num1. And I could say that this is equal to the number 25. And this is just a single equals. And this is simply for variable assignments. And this is not to check. This is not to make some sort of comparison. It's just to say that the number one is equal to the number 25. And that's just it. But however, if we should make an if statement now that actually says something like, um, let's say one plus one is equal to, and now I'm using the double equal sign. Take note of that is equal to 2. So we all know that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So I'm just going to console um, console.log um, a string over here that says that this is this is true. I'm going to copy this and I'll make an L statement over here and I'll paste this over here and in this case I will say else this should be false. So in this case when I save this you can see that our console this log, let me make this to be bigger, we can see that our console this log over here actually has this is true because of 1 plus 1 is truly equals to 2. Fine and good. But how about if we should make this 2 to be a string? And take note, a string is anything that is being wrapped within a double quote. So, and whenever anything is being wrapped into a double quote, it's more like a letter or a string. It's the general name for it is basically a string. So let's wrap 2 within a string now and we'll save this and we can see that this is still true and it's not supposed to be. So the major difference between a double equals two and a triple equals two is that it checks the type. If I should change this to a triple equal two at the moment, we are going to see that it says that this is false because this if statement cannot be executed. So therefore it goes over to the else statement because this is false. In this case, the three put equals two is actually checking the type of this value and the type of this value. So one plus one is truly equal to two, but this one plus one here is a number, while this one here is a string. So therefore, they are not equal to each other. So even if one plus one is equal to two, string is not equal to number. So the three put equals two actually checks two things. It checks, are this thing truly equal? And aside from that, is their type, the type of these two different stuff, are they really equal? So if they are not, if any one of those things um, is actually not equal, the triple equals two cannot we just go to the else statement over there. So let's take a look at other things. How do we know what type a specific um, value belongs to? So we can actually use the type of over here to take note of that. So let's just say, let's use our console.log for this. So let's say, console.log, um, let's just say check type. So I'm going to put a value over here now, and I'll say type of, net must say type of two in this case. If I just save this, we can see that the type of two here is actually a number. So one plus one is two, that is true, and that is a number, but if I should wrap this with to, um, if I should wrap this around the string and I save this, we can see that the type of this is actually equal to string. So now we can see that a string is not the same thing as a number. Another example that we can take a look at here is when it comes to binary. So we can say if true is equal to true, for instance, we know that um, this should be a double equal to. Of course, we know that true is always equal to true. So this first expression here is going to be this is true because true is equal to true, as well as false is also equal to false. So what about if I should say if true is equal to one? Or before I go ahead, I have to make this to a three put equal sign. So if I should make this to a three put equal sign, you could see it is this actually still works. But if I should change this back to a double equal sign, and I say, what if true is equal to one? And I save this. Now you can see that this is true is still being executed in this case because when we talk about binary, um, when we talk about binary, which is like Boolean values, zero and one, just a simple Boolean value, we have one 
being the true of a boolean value and we also have zero being the true being the false of a boolean value so this is basically common knowledge but basically a boolean is still different from a number so if we are saying true is equal to one it's not always the case so if we should put another equal sign here i will save this can you see that this is false because at this particular point in time this is checking the type of element the type of value that these things are so if we should come over here again and we put in the value of true over here i will save this we can see that true is actually a boolean value but if i should come over here and i put one and i save this we can see it's a number same thing goes for false and zero if i should put false and zero here you can see that this is not true that means this particular block of the code is not being executed but if i should remove one of the equals sign over here and i save this you can see it's been executed another example of this is actually null and undefined so null and undefined looks like they are the same thing but they are basically different so if i should say if null in this case is double equal to undefined and here we can see that it is true because it's basically simply means that they're both empty. Null means that it is empty, while undefined simply means that it is empty. But they don't really have the same time because the same type because the null is actually the type of an object, while an undefined is the type of undefined. So the types are different. So if I should change this to a triple equals to, and I save this now, you can see that this is false over here. So let's just check the type of this quickly, and we come over here. Let's save this. We can see that this is the type of an object. And if we should come over here and we'll check this one over here, we can see that undefined also has the type of undefined as well. And so what should you use? If you want to also compare the type of your values, you should be using a three per equal to, but if you don't mind um, the type and you just want to compare the actual answer, you could use the double equal to, but if you should ask me, which should you always use? I would always advise you to use the three per equal to because it's going to make your code even neater and it's also going to make your application not to move into not to run into a runtime error because you never can tell in some situation the double equal to can actually cause a runtime error that you are not actually expecting now let's take a look at this before we go on our very first example um, is actually one plus one is equal to two which is actually a valid expression and when we save this we get this is true but if you observe or if you've been observing we have this line coming up over here when i hover over this over here you can see that ide recommended that we replace this double equal to so triple equal to over here and when i click this it replaces it to three equal to so this is actually the recommended way of comparing two values you need to compare two values with their type as well so this is the recommended standard and i advise you to always use it in all situation as the case may be so this is about comparing the different type of equal sign in javascript i hope you enjoyed this video if you do enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Bye for now.